Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another empties video. We're in the office today because the office has great lighting today. I'm filming like much earlier than I normally would because it's, uh, as I can say, it's a long story, it's not. Bradley works a little bit later than normal, so I had a little time to film on a day that he works. I normally, it's, so see, it did end up being a long story. I normally film on days that he's off just so I have time, but I had enough time today before he goes into work, so it's earlier than I usually film, and the lighting was just great. Oh, my boob. But I'm curious, like, if you guys even care where I film, or where do you prefer that I film? Do you like when I sit in the chair by the window, on the bed, on the corner of the bed, by the white wall, down here, downstairs, like when I'm doing sit-down videos? I'm just curious. I would like to eventually have, like, a filming setup. I want a longer piece of furniture back there and then like some decor and that's just like my everyday I get some lights. Um, I was really pleased in the end of my, um, before we moved from our apartment with my filming setup. I, I really enjoyed it and I did switch back and forth between the office and the bedroom. This is so boring if you're just new and clicking, but I, if you're not new, I'm just curious. Do you care where I film? Do you have a preference? Just at the top, we'll talk. This, it's actually a dress. It's from Petal and Pup, which I placed an order from. I got a few things. This being my favorite, but it completely shrunk in the wash. I didn't even dry it. I am a hang dryer type of person because things shrink on me. I did not even dry this and it shrunk so much. It used to be long enough. I ordered this when I had a baby bump, like a sizable bump and it covered it and it was still long enough to be a dress. And now I cannot wear it without pants. So it's a big bummer, but I mean, at least I can wear it with leggings or whatever. But the print of it, super cute. I feel like it screams Amy. Like, I just love it. My chunky clips I got on sale from Anthropology. I think they're gone. And then I went for gray nail polish this week and I'm like oddly into it. Like, I, always, I don't know. I don't do gray very often, but I'm really enjoying it. I don't remember the shade name, something about Susie and her hands. <laughs> if they still make it, I will link it down below. I'll have the name of it down below, but um, just at the top. That's what we're wearing. Oh, and I'm wearing my All That Glitters eyeshadow because this morning I was catching up on Jessica Braun's videos and she did a um, like Sephora try on haul and she said that the eyeshadow looked pretty on me. So I was like, I'm gonna wear it. That's actually not even what she said. She just said the eyeshadow was pretty, but I'm taking it as a compliment. <laughs> okay, but if you're not new here, you know the drill. If you are new, this is just basically a box full of garbage essentially. It's all empty products, products that I've used completely up so I know how I feel about them. A lot of them are things that I buy and use all the time, but actually this season, I do these videos seasonally, so this is my spring empties. I do have some things that um, I don't, like it's not normally in the mix. I'm also, I got a few things from um, decluttering. So I'll, I'll express all that when we get to it. But yeah, just thought we would have an empties day because I know you guys love empties. I love it too. I'll have links for things down below. I guess if I absolutely hate a product, I won't link it. But for the most part, I will be linking pretty much all of these. Um, but yeah, I'll shut up and let's get into it. First up, I have three <laughs> of the simple kind of skin moisturizing facial wash. I just, you guys know the drill. I love it, obviously, clearly, and I really, <laughs> get every last ounce out of there. But I'll just give you my quick rundown. Affordable, it's effective, it doesn't dry my skin out. It really, it's called the Moisturizing Facial Wash and I really do feel like it is. I, this is the best at getting off my makeup. I'm currently using like a cleansing balm meant to make, take make, mm, meant to take makeup off, but this does a better job. Um, I use this on my Foreo Luna. I use this morning and night. I use it for everything, it is my favorite and it's like $8 and you can get it at Target, Ulta, Amazon, wherever. So that's the only cleanser I've used. Well, I mean, clearly I used three of them. You guys, I never burn candles anymore and I have two going because it looks nice, but I, <coughs> I did use up a little bottle of the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. I love this stuff so much. My mom actually, I just mentioned that Foreo Luna. My mom got me this really cool, like, like a gift set for Christmas and it had the Foreo Luna this and then a full size Kate Somerville cleanser. Um, but I always love this. The full size of this is $85. This tiny size is I think like 25 or 30. It does last you a bit. I mean, it lasted me since Christmas. So four months for this tiny size. You only use it once or twice a week. I typically, I for some reason I was in the schedule of using it on Tuesdays. <laughs> but I really love this stuff, especially as a new mom. I 
you guys, if you watch my videos, you know, like I really, before a child, like pampered myself and self-care and took the time for skincare routines and all that. And I am getting back into it now that he's in more of a schedule and I have like time at night again to like do skincare. But for, you know, some of those newborn months where we're still just getting through it, this, I haven't even explained. This is a, it says the two, Hollywood's two minute facial. So basically you just put this on, I put it on in the shower. Um, you just put it all over your face. You leave it for two minutes and then you kind of exfoliate it off and you just, it just, it feels refreshing. It just has, it has pineapple and papaya enzymes and it like tingles and it feels really good. Leaves your skin a little bit red, but my skin loves it. It's a great little treatment. And again, it just, it feels like a little mini facial that you have time for in the shower. Cause I would just slap it on and then either I was gonna say shave my legs, but LOL, I'm barely shaving my legs these days unless I'm going somewhere. <laughs> but like wash my body. I do shave my armpits still pretty regularly, but you know, I do something else in the shower and then rinse this off. So it's like a multitask product, but I do really love it. I don't buy it often because it's pricey, but when I get my hands on a bottle, I love it. Now I mentioned some of these products were decluttered. Well, these are dried up. So same thing, but I swear that bathroom video, I'm not sure when this empties video is going up. My boob. There's going to be a bathroom declutter, reorganization, revamping video coming at some point. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm honestly just like waiting on a few decor things so I can like finalize the video. Maybe it's done by now, maybe it's not, but it, just hold tight if it's not up yet. But I got rid of a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff that like every time I normally go through it, I'd be like, oh, but you know what? I might use it. This time I was really cutthroat and was like, you know what, you don't have the time, the energy, the space for it, let's get rid of it. Oh, there's like a trash truck. Do you guys miss me being in my apartment and screaming at people and things on the street? <laughs> I don't. I feel like we need to eventually have a story. To, some really like creepy and scary things went down in that apartment and that I witnessed from my window and I feel like we could have a whole story time video on that. Maybe if I ever do a Patreon, that will be better over there because like, I don't know, it's a weird video. But some shady shiz went down. He just took our, our greenery. We'll just give him a mo. I'll check on my baby while we wait. Oh, he's up. <laughs> don't worry, Bradley's fine. But also within that mix of stuff, some of my products, my masks were really dried up and I'm really sad about it. Although, um, so this is my favorite L'Oreal mask. It's uh, the Detox and Brighten Pure Clay Mask. It's 10 bucks and the most effective like charcoal mask I've ever tried. It smells a little strong. It's completely dried up. Um, and I was really bummed about it because it's been discontinued, but one of you either tweeted me or Instagram, I don't know, you, you contacted me somehow saying it's just been like reformulated, repackaged. So I needed to go see if I can find this and buy it because I love it. I have been using it. I like almost as much as this, the Young Living. I do use Young Living products. I've really taken a step back from sharing about them because it really upsets people and I don't want to upset people, but I do use Young Living products. I love the Young Living products. I'm not in, I, I'm not doing it to like build a team. I'm not trying to recruit people to sell under me. I just like the products. And so if I talk about one and you want it, you can buy through my link, but I'm never like, <laughs> I'm not into like the MLM life of like trying to build a team. Like that isn't, that's not what's up for me. But that being said, I do love the Young Living oils and their products. And I think last year they came out with their own charcoal mask and it works really, really well. And it's all natural, which is a huge plus. So I've been using that instead. And I have a couple of bottles of that. So maybe I won't repurchase this if I find it, I'll wait. Um, but I am curious if they brought it back because I hope they did. It's a great mask. And then also this I've had for a while, so it is probably just the best time to toss it. It's the Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. I do really like this. Smells like apples. This one you're supposed to leave on for 20 minutes. It does kind of dry down. And this one is nice because when you rinse it off, it exfoliates your skin as well. It does leave your skin red, or at least it just leaves my skin red. I don't know. I really like this mask. I'm sad that, I mean, I used most of it, but you know, some of it is still in there, just dried up, but I totally would repurchase that. I love that. But my very favorite, Glam Glow Mask is their Thirsty Mud Treatment. I started buying the Mega Size because they dry up so quickly in the tubs. So this lasted so much better in the tube. This thing is like $80, so it's ridiculous. So I always like buy it when I'm, it's on um, a Sephora sale or something, but this seriously is one of my all time favorite products. My mom actually got me a, like a smaller bottle for Christmas, so I have it, thank goodness. It smells like Hawaii, it smells like coconut and just bliss. And honestly, sometimes when I'm having like such dry patches, nothing 
nothing else fixes it, this always does. It smells so good. You can leave it all over in a thick layer for a mask or you can take like a little bit mix it in with your moisturizer and just leave it on overnight. I just absolutely love it. It's pricey, but in my opinion, totally worth the price point. You won't use it up super quickly and it just works wonders, at least for my face. Ugh, this I'm upset about. This is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Face Butter. They sent me this last year and now I'm addicted to it. <laughs> and I literally used up every last drop. This stuff is amazing. It feels so good. My skin loves it. But this jar is $42 and I go through it so quick and I just, I can't like justify spending that kind of money right now all the time. We got an extra mouth to feed, we got a mortgage now, and so like just, I gotta find something that's a little more affordable, or a lot more affordable, but I'm having a hard time finding something I love as much as this. I'm currently using the Avalon Organics Vitamin C Moisturizer, and I like it enough, it works well, and I got it on half off, so that was cool too, but I'm almost out of it, and I'm like, ugh, what am I gonna use? But this stuff is seriously so, so good. I saw that this was on sale for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty for half off and I meant to buy like three tubs and I forgot and then I was so upset with myself. So if that ever happens again, I will. But just know I love this so much. It's just a little bit. If it was something I used a little less frequently and I didn't blow through it the way I do with this, I would buy it again. But I just, I can't get addicted to having this like every two months. It's too expensive. It's just too expensive. I also, oh, that set I was talking about from Kate, uh, for the Foreo and Kate Somerville came with this little exfoliate glow, which I've used before. Um, it's not my favorite moisturizer, but it's good. Like if I have a tub, I'll use it and I'll be just fine. It does kind of tingle, which it's supposed to like exfoliate. I don't, I don't understand but I used it. And then last for skincare, I used up my eye cream. This is the Trader Joe's Supreme Hydrating Eye Cream. I've used up a few of these before. I really, really like this eye cream. In fact, I used like the last little bit of it today and it is lovely. I always say my main goal in an eye cream is moisturization because my, around my eyes and my, even my eyelids get so dry and I just love having something really moisturizing on there and I really like this one and always when I can find a beauty product that I love from Trader Joe's I love it because I'm there so often I can just throw it in the cart and they're always affordable too so yeah I have a couple makeup -y. well this could be skincare too this is the Laneige lip glowy balm in berry oh I thought I had grapefruit I've been telling you guys the wrong shade this whole time when I've been referring to it but I've been talking about this so much because I have it right here I've discovered the peach which is my new favorite I like it better than the berry but I did love the berry Let's just slap some on right now. I can link both down below, but the berry obviously has a little bit of a pink tint and this one has like a little bit of a gold tint and I'm just really liking it. But besides the tint and the flavor, the balm itself, I love. It just feels so good. It looks like glossy enough to look like I tried a little bit, but I'm really just moisturizing. I love Laneige, I love the um, sleeping mask as well. So I used that up and then I repurchased the peach. Oh no, let me see that baby. How was your nap? This is an empty that I used up nine months ago. Uh -oh. oh wow, look at those perfect baby feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Love you all. Oh, I love this stuff, I think. Yes, I love, <laughs> I love this stuff, but it turned on me. It smells different, so I'm getting rid of it. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. It just feels really nice. I always say when it smells normal, it smells like strawberry Pop-Tarts, which, Yum, but it also just feels really moisturizing and nice and it's a nice like Layer for your foundation to go on top of it's the kind of primer I like which is just kind of like moisturizing But a little bit tacky to help everything adhere and I love this it just turned on me um, I'm currently trying to work through my primers which goes by so slow because I don't wear makeup that often But I would definitely repurchase this someday. I love this. This is the Mac prep and prime fix plus I did repurchase it I have it right here, but I got it in the rose scent. I do like the rose scent Smells so good. So this is just like, I think they call it their herbal scent. It's just, it's not unscented. It does still smell good, but this one has a hint of rose. But reasons why I love Fix Plus, I feel like I say this every time I talk about it, but I'll inform you anyway. For how I just used it for like setting my makeup or say I did my makeup this morning and then we're going somewhere later and I just, it just needs like a revamp. That works really well for that. It's really nice for wetting your um, sponge or your brush for like an extra dewy application of your foundation 
or if you want to wet an eyeshadow brush to get like a really foiled look with your shadow, a setting spray, you can use it without any makeup on. It's just a really versatile product. So when it comes to like a face spray, I always, I love having Fix Plus on hand. You can use it before makeup because it's called Prep and Prime. It says it refreshes the skin and finishes makeup. I'm just a huge fan of this. I talk about it all the time. And so I used one up and I obviously repurchased. And then of course there is a L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara Fall Slash. Is that what it's called? Bambi Eye Fall Slash Mascara? I love this mascara. Ever since I discovered it, I haven't touched my CoverGirl Clump Crusher, which if you're a long time subscriber of me, you know is wild. That's my very favorite mascara in the world. Well, I don't know if it is still. I haven't used it in a very long time. So what I have on today. I just absolutely love it. Um, and so, yeah, and I have the shade uh, Black Brown or something. The brown one I have, and I love it. Now I have some body care favorites. Speaking of Young Living, I thoroughly enjoy this. I actually need to place a Young Living order for something else we'll talk about later that we're like dying without. Um, and I'm going to throw in a bottle of this. This is their shower gel and evening piece. It smells incredible. And I was just using this as like my nighttime shower. Oh my God, my nighttime shower gel. And it just is so relaxing and I'm missing it. It has Ylang Ylang, Bergamot, Blue Tansy, Geranium, Lemon, Jasmine, Roman Chamomile. Like, wow, no wonder I love that. I need more of this. So I thoroughly enjoy it. And a huge plus of Young Living products is everything is all natural. So my body loves it, my skin loves it, smells good, I feel okay with like Milo being near me. So yeah. I also used up this L'Occitane. I hope I'm saying that right. I feel like I used to call it L'Occitane. <laughs> Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. This is their Sha Almond Shower Oil, which I, I talked about this in a products I dislike video because I tried to like Trader Joe's dupe for it. I'll link that video up in the corner, by the way. Um, and it broke me out. And um, I also didn't, it really didn't do anything anyway. So I was fine getting rid of it. It did smell good though. And this is along the same lines. This did not break me out, but I, oh, it smells so good. But I think I, and I mentioned in that video, I'm looking more for something that like completely drenches me in oil when I get out of the shower and I have to like tap myself dry. This wasn't that product, but I feel like I used this in the past and it did do that for me. Um, but this is just like, it's a shower gel. It's just supposed to be like an oily softening shower gel, but you use it as a normal shower gel. How many times can I say shower gel? But so I didn't notice, I have really dry skin and especially something after having that baby, I have the driest skin. So I don't know, you guys left me some suggestions. You guys left me a lot of good suggestions on that products I don't like video. If you're looking, I don't know, just go read through the comments. People left great suggestions for oils and dry shampoos. So I, I wanna like look through it again. But um, if you if you have a suggestion for like, just some sort of oil that I can put on my body as I'm stepping out of the shower because I hate putting on lotion, let me know. But speaking of lotion, when I do put it on, this is my very, very favorite. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, the Intense Hydration. I discovered this because they sent it to me way back. And now bro both Bradley and I are addicted to it. Again, used up every last I have a new tub of it by my bed right now. I'm actually having an intense like eczema flare up because I haven't been moisturizing, but when I do have those, th this stuff helps greatly. I always talk about, and it is coming back a little bit because I've been bad about moisturizing. I've gotten really bad eczema in my, what I lovingly refer to my elbow pits because I don't know what else you call that. Um, this always gets rid of it and it just feels really good. And it's really clean ingredients. No fragrance or anything good for sensitive skin. I just, I love First Aid Beauty as a company for just like gentle but effective hydrating skincare for face and body. Speaking of fragrance and toxins though, I used up one of my Moonlight Path shower gels. You guys are just probably tired of hearing me talk about this. I've literally used this since seventh grade. This is Amy in a bottle. They've discontinued it and made it really hard for me to get my hands on, but every now and then it's like on the website and last, <laughs> It was like right before I had the baby. It was on there for $5 a bottle and I had a bunch of coupons. And I think I ordered $50, like that was my limit. However many $50 can buy me with my coupon and the deal. And I have so many of them. I'll be fine for years. <laughs> but I just love it. I think a lot of people would think this smells like a grandma because it, well, no. God, it just smells so good. <laughs> it smells like lavender and rose, but like not in a grandma way. It just smells really, really light and refreshing. And what I like about this is that it layers nicely with other perfumes. I, my perfume shelf is over there. My current favorite perfume is the Ariana Grande, God is a Woman, love it. I wear it sparingly, like I said, because I'm just not wearing a bunch of fragrance around my son right now as he's 
developing. But this just layers nicely with all my favorite perfumes. Marc Jacobs Daisy, Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume. It just, it, it vibes with everything that like in the scent family that I like. So I love it. I do enjoy these. It's the Whole Foods brand Rose Petal Bath Bombs. I actually, did I use all these or did I just empty them out of the bag into my jar? And I got confused. I don't know, but I do really like these. They're not like as obviously exciting as the Lush bath bombs because there's no color or anything in them. They just fizzle away, but they do have like pink salt and aromatherapy oils in them and they smell really good. So if you're like into the bath bomb, but not like the crazy show that Lush is, try these out. They also make um, rose petal scented bath salts that I love. So when I, I don't go to Whole Foods very often, but when I do, I usually pick up a couple of bags of that Epsom salt because I love it. Of course, I used up a bottle of my Trader Joe's Shave Moisturizing Cream Shave and the Honey Mango Scent. I will not use anything else to shave ever. This is my very favorite. It's a gel, so it's not your typical foam that you like follow the outline, but it doesn't matter. It leaves your legs so moisturized. It's cheap and effective and the best. And I, there's a bottle or two of this in every empties video I film. I also just filmed a, um, it's like a non-food favorites from Trader Joe's. I can link that up in the corner. And this was my very last one saying, if you only listen to one thing, get this. It is so good. This really reminds me postpartum days. Oh my gosh. I mentioned it in so many videos, but I still to this day, there are three. I have such a hard time doing a three with this hand. It's this ring finger three <laughs> shower gel scents that I can't stand. It was what I was using in the very beginning where I was so nauseous, what Bradley was using. And then there's this lush one that we had in the shower that Bradley used once. And I came so close to vomiting that I literally took it and threw it out right then and there. For some, Bradley knew, and this is funny timing, literally last night I was asleep and he got in bed after he showered and it woke me from my slumber. And I was like, did you use something I banned during pregnancy? And he was like, oh shit. <laughs> He like underestimated the power of my nose and I made him shower again, like squeeze, which he was very kind and did shower again. And that happened a few times in pregnancy where he would wear something like shower gel or deodorant or something. I'm like, I can't smell that, I will vomit. And he would shower again and he's very sweet. <laughs> but for the most part, a lot of the stuff that used to bother me doesn't bother me anymore. But those three scents, I don't know if I'll ever be able to smell again, which is so sad because I was using my very favorite shower gel when I started, which was the Alba Botanica honey mango one. But I always talk about how um, after birth, I was just trying to find, I'm just trying to find a whole bunch of different new shower gel scents because anything during pregnancy for a while either made me nauseous or just gave me anxiety. <laughs> and so I picked this up at Whole Foods and it's the Alifia brand that we liked for our son. Let me tell another segment sideways story, which I'll, I'm gonna talk about this in a baby video, but I was obsessed and I still love their bubble bath for kids. They also have like a shampoo and shower gel. And one night I was bathing him, we ran out of what we were using before. So I got that out and used it. And he, his eyes were all red and he was fussing and he was rubbing it. And I looked at the bottle and it didn't say tear free, even though it's a kid's baby's line. And so like any good mom, I <laughs> stuck the bubbles in my eye and it burned so bad. And I was like, I have been bathing my son in not tear-free stuff and I feel so bad. So while it makes beautiful, stiff, gorgeous bubbles for him um, on nights that we wash his hair and put it over his head, I don't use those bubbles because they're not tear-free and I don't want to upset his eyes. I just assumed because it was a kid's line. So I'm so sorry if you bought that on my recommendation, but know that that I didn't know. And then once I found out, we just don't use it as often. But for adults, I picked up the Everyday Shea Passion Fruit. I would totally buy this again. I really enjoyed it. I don't think it's necessarily as moisturizing as those, the, uh, the two Alba Botanica ones I loved were the Honey Mango and the Velvet Midnight. There's no velvet. It's like Midnight Tuberose. It's the ones for like intense hydration. And I like them because I feel like they actually hydrate me. This, it says for normal to very dry skin. I don't feel like it dries me out, but I don't feel like it hydrates me a super ton, but it smells really good and it's really clean ingredients. So yeah, I would try that. I would buy this again or try a different scent. But speaking of Milo, I do have a Milo empty. We love this. It's the Burt's Bees Baby Nourishing Lotion. This is just the original. There's no parabens, phthalates, SLS, or petroleum. It's made with like natural derived fragrance. On the back, oh, it literally smells so good. On the back it says safe, effective, natural, and it just really helps moisturize. My baby is dry. He takes after his mom. This is our very favorite. So I did repurchase this. It smells incredible, just trust. But the Burt's Bees Baby line for like toiletries has been my favorite so far. We love 
the multi-purpose ointment. The bubble bath wasn't as good as the Alefia, but it was tear-free, so we'll use it again. The shower gel we love. Um, just, we love the Burt's baby. Burt's bees baby. We also did use up a baby shampoo, but not on the baby. I used this for two things. Sometimes to wash the dog if we have nothing else, just because it's really gentle. Um, I don't use it on the baby just because it has fragrance in it. That's the best fragrance in the world. Like, ugh, is there anything better than baby shampoo? Oh. <laughs> but I use this to clean my brushes, again, because it's like gentle but effective, and I love it. My brushes smell incredible when it's done. It also doesn't dry out my brushes, which is nice. So I really like this for washing brushes if you're like on a budget when it comes to cleaning your makeup brushes. But at least this is no more tears. Maybe I should consider it. I have a couple of hair empties and then home empties, and then we're out of here. So honestly, mostly Bradley used these up, but I did use them from time to time. I do love this shampoo. It's the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Shampoo. It smells so good. Bradley, my husband's family, has like an obsession with this line and they got me addicted to it. I really love the conditioner mostly from the Keratin Smooth line, but obviously if this is around, I'll use it. Um, and then we use up this other, it's a Tresemme one, but it's not the Keratin Smooth. It's anti-breakage. Anti I don't, I wouldn't repurchase this. It's all about the Keratin Smooth, but we used those up. And now for some home favorites. My mom got me this for my birthday. It's the L'Occitane, yet again, ultra rich hand and body wash. We use this at our kitchen sink. This is luxe. This is rich people hand soap. I think it's like $20. Yes, the price tag is still there. She got it at Nordstrom Rack. But they carry like Lossy Ton stuff for not at a discount. So that's just like the normal price. It's so moisturizing. It's the most moisturizing hand soap I've ever used. It is so nice and totally worth it. But $20 for hand soap is a ton. But maybe if you're trying to like look fancy in your guest bathroom or you just pull it out every now and then, it is lovely. I can't even express. I don't think Bradley enjoyed it, but I really, really did. And it smells kind of like fresh, light, like baby powder. I like it. <laughs> then this is the product that I mentioned I need to place a Young Living order because we're out of and we're missing it. It's the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Soak. Basically, you just fill up a bowl of water, you put not even a capful. Bradley was putting a capful. I'm like, no, that's even too much. Just literally the tiniest splash and you soak your fruit and veggies in it. I soak what we buy at the store. I soak what we pick from our own garden, whether it be herbs or like tomatoes or whatever. This It just strips it of all the nasty stuff, but there's no nasty ingredients inside this. So I really, really like this stuff. Um, I think a bottle, this size bottle is like $22 and lasts you forever because like I said, you just need a splash. But the stuff it gets off, especially like strawberries is disgusting. Be sure to look behind after you drain it and look at all the dirt that comes off of your stuff because then you will always wash. But this is a mess, but this is the Thieves Laundry Soap. We love this. I don't always buy it. I'm gonna put this down because it's like a disgusting mess. We don't always buy it because I like the seventh generation, their laundry. It's like plant powered citrus something. It's literally almost the exact same. Not quite as clean, but still pretty clean. And I feel comfortable using both of those on Milo's laundry. You know, I don't live a completely like non-toxic, perfect lifestyle lifestyles. I'm breathing in these two candles. But if you're gonna switch one thing, start with your laundry because I seriously watch Milo put everything in his mouth all day, every day, whether it's blankets or what he's wearing, what I'm wearing. And it just is such a comfort to know that I'm just, it's all clean stuff. We've cut dryer sheets. We just use dryer balls. Sometimes I'll put oil on the dryer balls in there with it. I have like a special baby oil that I put for his stuff that like smells like sleepy lavender, which honestly that should be in this empties too. I don't know where that bottle is. Oh, I did use up a bottle of Citrus Fresh. <laughs> it's sitting right here. I forgot to put it in the empties, but oh, this is my very favorite oil. It's all the citrus oils mixed with a little bit of spearmint. I actually really, I got out of the habit of diffusing oils while pregnant just because scents really bothered me. And now I find, like I made so many bad habits in pregnancy or dropped habits that like I'm just having a hard time picking back up. But I need to get back on my citrus fresh game. It smells so good. But anyway, I used up that laundry detergent. I love it, but I do love the, um, uh, I'll link it down below, whatever one I like. It's the seventh generation. It works really, really well, but it's much cleaner than, you know, your Tide or whatever else they sell. So, okay, that is it for, I almost said for the laundry, but um, it's not it for the laundry. We actually have piles and piles ready to do. We just couldn't do it yet because the laundry room is right on the other side of this door and it gets loud, so we waited. <laughs> but that is it for the empties. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I will link things down below in like organized categories so you can find what you want, what you need. I have a whole empties playlist. If you wanna check that out, I will link it up in the corner. I've been doing these for years. So if you're in the mood to binge, 
have at it. Please subscribe, I'll have my little face here you can click and maybe some more videos down here if you wanna click and watch those if you would enjoy that. And if you do like empties videos, please give it a thumbs up just so I know what you guys like and thumbs ups is one of the easiest ways to help my channel grow. But yeah, I think that's it for my spiel. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again very soon with a new one. Have a good day. Okay, bye.